All right, if you want to make the best tea ever, this is how I've done it. Um, I actually learned this from um, an ex-sister-in-law and kind of tweaked it a little bit. But this is how I make the best tea. I call it Miss Bell's. It's Miss Bell's Sweet Tea. Um, but hold on. I take this. Um, I believe this is like a one and a half gallon. Um, it's old. This, this is old. Um, thing. Fill it up with water. Ten tea bags. Um, Lipton, Louisiana, Tetley, we kind of go back and forth. Some we prefer for a while and then we'll switch. But 10 tea bags. I put it on a six, which whatever that would be, and I set my timer for 20 minutes. I do not boil it. 20 minutes, it'll start getting the little white bubbles on top, and then you turn it off, and then you let it cool. Let it cool naturally, and then when it's cool, um, take the tea bags out. Don't squeeze them in there. When you squeeze the tea bags in there, that makes it taste tannicky. Ugh. Just take the tea bags out and then squeeze them in the sink um, or just throw them away, whatever you do. But then we add <laughs> two cups of sugar per pitcher. Hold on. So a one gallon pitcher. One gallon? Yeah, one gallon. So two cups of sugar. When we're doing better, we do like one, one and a half. But sugar it to your preference but one cup of or two cups of sugar is really sweet tea and then fill the rest up with water which isn't that much when it comes to it but I'm telling you it that's good um, so I'm getting the tea going this morning I'm going to get me some hot tea I haven't been drinking hot tea at all and I'm not drinking my liquids the way I should so I'm gonna get back into drinking hot tea I'm gonna do this green tea super antioxidant and honey and I'm going to show you what I do while stuff is in the microwave. This is part of my physical therapy daily things to try to get myself feeling better. I, this is kind of this is the stuff that I know helps me. So hold on. Hello, you're in my cabinet. So um, I'm starting cold water from fresh. So I got to do it for two and a half minutes to get it warm. But what I do, and this is comfort level only. Don't do anything. You know, I don't do anything that hurts. But. I try to reach for the ceiling and hold my arms up as long as I can. <laughs> and you don't think about this being anything major. But we don't want to lose our, you know, ability to reach. And it gets harder, especially when you have health issues. So this is what I'm going to do. Hold on. Small steps add up. See you soon.